Hello, this is my Peugeot 306 that has a 1.6 liter 5 speed manual transmission and yet the engine is 1.6 liter, not like a 5 liter V8 but at least the fuel consumption in the city is 11 liters and the on the highway 6 liters and it depends on your driving style of what it is in the city also so this is just what the uh, Peugeot says about 11 liters and on the highway 6 liters the fuel capacity is 60 liters so it's for a fuel consumption so little kind of a big tank and yeah, let me show you under the bonnet a little bit. So the engine bay looks at least to be really simple. So the engine, as you can see, has a lot of uh, room around it because it came with 2.2 liter diesel engine so it probably is turbo also so it has a turbo so it would take more space at the front so smaller engine gas guzzler so it's it has more room around it then we have the timing belt accessory belts and the power steering pump and it's filler there we got the battery charger but then we got the intake manifold exhaust manifold then you put oil from under this cap oil filler the low pressure regulator ABS intake battery so yeah that pretty much sums it the whole engine bay up The wood isn't the biggest, not like on a van, but in there you can probably fit three or four golf bags, uh, probably very well three, but more than that it's gonna be a tight fit. So yeah. The back seats, if the driver's seat isn't all the way back, the back seats are uh, spacious enough to have a, at least 5 hour trip, but more than that you will get bored. So yeah, the interior isn't the biggest, but at least you and your passengers can fit in it. Or you and your friends. What? Other than that, this is kind of small if you are used to a bigger interior. What I mean by that, if you driving with your legs a little bit spread, so it's more comfortable for you, you may end up finding your knee touching the shifter knob. And sometimes if you just drive like this, you find your you your friend can find that you're grabbing the knob, but then also you touch the knee as well with your hand. So it isn't the most spacious, but it works. Couple things to add before I end this video that the for the Peugeot. The parts are somewhat cheap, at least in Europe, and because of it, you can find uh, the whole engine for like 250 to 300 euros. Then you can find like replacement rim caps for all four set, probably for uh, 50 Peugeot originals. Then you can also find probably the 
these doors for like 80 bucks a piece. Cheap parts, cheap to run, doesn't take a lot of fuel. You potentially can go uh, almost a thousand kilometers on a one single tank that is 60 liters. But yeah, other than that, this is it's a pleasure. It's a French car before all the electric problems. So yeah, good car, bye.